Khabib's coach thinks he should not come out of retirement except to fight GSP. Cody Garbrandt says he would KO Jose Aldo early if they fought, and Poirier doesn't want an immediate rematch with McGregor. All this and more in today's MMA report. Lightweight champion Khabib's future has been unclear since announcing retirement after his submission victory over Justin Gaethje at UFC 254. Since then, Dana White has been trying to convince him to return and fight McGregor. However, with McGregor suffering a TKO loss to Poirier, that fight might not happen. Khabib's head coach Javier Mendez said to Submission Radio that he thinks Khabib should only come out of retirement to fight George St. Pierre. I don't even know if Conor was going to do great that Khabib would even fight him, because he's going to ask his mother. The first thing is he has to ask his mother for permission. I didn't see GSP being offered, and I thought the only way he was going to come out was if if GSP was in that picture, but based on what happened, I don't see why he would want to come out and fight anybody. This fight with Dustin is not going to motivate him, he's not looking at the money, but if they can put GSP on the table, maybe there's a chance. And I'm not saying it will happen, but GSP might be the only one. I've always thought it was GSP because that's what his father wanted, and I think if they can get that one worked out and he can get his mother's permission, that could work, but I don't think anybody else is going to work. If he asked, I would say hold out for GSP or retire, but he's never asked me. Welterweight champion Kamaru Usman is set to take on Gilbert Burns on February 13th at UFC 254. More recently, the champ spoke to TSN's Aaron Bronstetter about how the lightweight division should be booked. Dustin Poirier would throw him in there with Oliveira. I think that's a good one. You go to Dustin and Oliveira just to give Dustin that fresh face because it's kind of clear Dustin doesn't really want Gaethje. Even though that's not a fight that I wouldn't put past, they're one and two. But I would go Dustin versus Oliveira. I would go Gaethje versus a newcomer. Chandler, who just made a statement with his win, I would put RDA in there. I don't know why why they're counting him out. I would say give him Connor. That fight was meant to happen before. We all know how that one was. And so I'd give him Connor. For wrestling legend Goldberg has been a major MMA fan and with TMZ was asked how he would fare in the octagon. When it comes to MMA, I had one of the largest MMA gyms in the country in the late 90s. To train alongside those guys was a dream. When Mark Coleman, Randy Couture, Kevin Randleman, and Don Fry were training in my place and told me how much money they were making, it did not take me a second to figure out what the right choice was to make. I love Muay Thai. I love MMA. It is ingrained in me. I am friends with the pioneers of this business. I am greatly appreciative of what Dana White and those guys have done. My stand-up skills would have played well. I don't think a lot of people have any ideas to what I've done in Muay Thai. I would be laughed at in the ground game, and the problem is I end up hurting myself more so than getting hurt by the other person. I will break a hand on someone's face. I am my own worst enemy. Dustin Poirier defeated Conor McGregor via TKO in the second round at UFC 257, and while McGregor has been reportedly gunning for a rematch, according to Dustin's head coach Mike Brown, McGregor and Poirier are split one-to-one, -one, so a trilogy fight does make sense. But what Dustin is fighting for is to be world champion. He wants to take time, relax, enjoy his family, and not think about anything right now. 